Welcome to this short lecture on ethical argument. The goal is to help you begin to read this text. It is a really heavy text, meaning that you should only read a few pages at a time, and it is okay that you don't understand what you are reading right at first. It takes time and rereading and discussion. My goal for this critical thinking unit is to get you to think about the difference between right and wrong, and for you to be able to use the information from ethical argument to actually write an essay on an ethical issue of your choice. To summarize this whole text in a nutshell, we would be left with one question. How can we know that our claims in ethics are true or false? The author of Ethical Argument, Hugh Mercer Kirtler, discusses how Bertrand Russell distinguished between two separate functions of word, use and mention. His approach is to use argument to make a point, while at the same time mentions the techniques that are necessary to put together strong arguments. Kirtler begins his introduction to the student by noting what argument means in this particular text. He is referring to a thoughtful procedure for stating conclusions and finding the best possible support for those conclusions. The four chapters that we will be reading from this text are the first four. Is it all a matter of opinion? The framework? devising a procedure, and the justification of ethical claims. All four of these chapters will help you prepare to write your essay. Please make sure you do not skip the student introduction. It actually gives you a good basis for helping you understand the rest of the book. And also there are interactions between Rick and Nina sporadically throughout the book. Do not skip those. They're a little bit cheesy, but they help to illustrate the concepts that are in the book. Let's take a moment to determine the difference between the word subjective and objective. Subjective is based on feelings. Objective is based on fact. Kirtler understands that when people make decisions that sometimes they are based on feelings. He is challenging us to try and make ethical decisions based on objective claims as opposed to subjective claims. And the way you can determine whether they are subjective or objective is based on the grounds of support or lack of support for these claims. Kirtler begins his text by giving you a brief history of ethics. He then asks you to challenge yourself whether ethical decisions should be made by using emotion. He also gives a procedure of verification, which helps us to determine whether a decision is ethical or not, about whether we can verify or falsify them at another time, or someone else can, and whether these claims can withstand rational criticism. Now it's time to get started reading. I hope you find that this text challenges your assumptions and that you find some real value about learning about ethics.